Hey, and welcome back to our next Smart Suite Showcase. If you're new here, I'm your host, Nate Montgomery. And in this series, we share the ways that customers are using our platform. In today's episode, we're taking a look at how product teams are using Smart Suite to build and keep track on the work they're doing. Let's dive right in. We've returned to our Smart Suite homepage. If you wanna work with the solution I'm looking at today, feel free to go to your homepage, add a new solution, start with the templates. And inside of our Smart Suite Showcases section, we have all the showcases I've done in the past including the one I'm working on today, the product showcase. Let's open this up. I'll start here in our data schema widget inside of the dashboard. In the last showcases, I talked about how product teams are using Smart Suite to plan and prioritize the work they're doing, as well as collect and act on feedback. If you want to take a look at those videos first, I'll include the links in the description below. Today, we're going to mostly focus on building and delivering. We have six apps here. The heart of this showcase is going to be talking about the projects, the tasks, and the timelines related to them, whether they have to be completed in a fixed interval inside of a sprint, but this data schema should show you how the pieces are connected. Using Smart Suite for your product teams allows you to create an organization-wide roadmap, also allows you to make sure you're relating the building and the work you're doing to sprints and to projects which have release dates and due dates. We'll start off in our projects grid view here, where we have a set of different field types that capture information about each individual project, whether that be a feature, enhancement, or a particular part of your product area. We're linking out to our feedback, we're linking to the OKRs, we have the design files, stored in a files and images field. We also have single select and number fields collecting complexity, value, and effort level, which will allow you to prioritize these different projects. So one of the great ways to build and deliver on your work is to organize things into views. Um, if we go to our view drop down, we can see uh, different types of views that are going to present this information in a way that's easily digestible. If we go down to a Kanban view, we can see projects by status. So as your team is building and working on these projects and completing all the associated tasks with this project, they can change the status directly from this view here. Another great view is a timeline view to get a roadmap of all of the projects that your team is working on. Right now we're grouping by the priority on the left and we have our spotlight showing the status of these features. We can easily open up this record view listing to see the list of the projects being worked on. We can easily click into a record to see the information about the project at a high level. And we can look into the, the requirements designs that are kept inside smart doc fields that are easily formatted. Moving over to our next view here, we have a launch calendar which shows the project timeline based on the due dates. We can actually add other calendars by clicking this button here, clicking add a calendar, and maybe we wanna see a calendar view of all of our tasks that we're working as well and how they're stacking up against the projects that are scheduled. Moving over to the task, we can see the work that's happening for these different projects. You can use our automations engine to automate the steps that happen inside of your workflow and your processes. For example, if there's a project being worked on and it goes through a set of tasks that need to happen, for example, the UX refinement, QA, and the design, you can initiate an automation with a trigger, such as the checking of a yes, no field. And when you move back over to the tasks, we can see records being created related to that project, assigning the relevant party based on the type of task it is. And a product lead could go into each of these tasks and assign them to a specific sprint which would then populate the sprint release date so that the owners of these tasks know when this task needs to be prioritized and completed. Moving over to our sprints app, we're able to see the work that's happening in fixed intervals. We have a date range for the sprint, a date range of the sprint that we have an add a scheduled time trigger that creates these two week sprints on an ongoing basis. We have a status that's tracking whether this date range is in progress or it's not started yet or it's complete. We have how many work days are in the sprint and the work days until the sprint ends. So everyone can make sure that their milestones and the tasks that are coming from the new features or from systems like Jira, you can make sure that they're on track. We also have a couple count fields showing how many total tasks we have for the sprint and how many are complete. Going back over to tasks and going into the sprint planning chart view, we're actually able to see the status of all the tasks related to a specific sprint. Using this filter here, you're able to click on and dive into a particular sprint to see the status of all the tasks that are relating to this fixed interval. If you go back to the chart, you're actually able to click on the chart and take a look at the different tasks that are being worked on that might not be started. You can click into the record and actually start doing the work, collaborating and aligning with your team to make sure you're hitting those milestones. And that wraps up this Smart Suite showcase. Hopefully you learned a thing or two about how you can use Smart Suite to 
build and keep on top of your product work, or just learned one more thing or two about how you can utilize our platform. If you have any questions or comments about the showcase, request for a future showcase, feel free to leave a comment in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.